Hello everybody and welcome back to another Montessori inspired video. Today I'm going to be telling you about the Munari Mobile. This is the first mobile in the Montessori Visual Mobile series. It is black and white which is great for providing contrast and is suitable for the infant's developing vision. It's developmentally appropriate as it's not overstimulating or overwhelming and it also encourages focus and helps the infant build concentration. As you can see, it does not move very fast, so it is easy for the infant to focus and visualize all of the images on the mobile. Now, I went ahead and I made this myself. It is a little tricky and takes some trial and error. It can be a little frustrating, but it's totally worth it in the end if you wanna save yourself $50. So, let's go ahead and get started. To start off with, you will need a unique set of tools. You will need some black and white paint. I used acrylic paint and some sponge brushes. You will need these rods. I bought two, but I ended up only using one rod. A glass or plastic Christmas ornament. The Munari picture cutouts, which I will leave in the description down below. Some fishing line and some rings. Something to measure with some glue or tape, scissors, a sharpie or a pen, and something to cut with. I will also be laminating all of my paper cutouts, so if you would like to laminate them, you can use a laminator as well. Now I am measuring out the distances for my rods. I'll go ahead and leave everything in the description box down below so I'm not throwing numbers out at you in this video, but there are very specific measurements for each thing that we're doing here, including all of the string and exactly where everything needs to be hung. Next, I'm gonna start painting these rods. The top rod is white, the middle rod is black, and the bottom rod is a combination of the two. Next on the list is to cut out and laminate the little pieces of paper. I did put some glue and double-sided sticky tape between the pages so that they would stay together while they go through the laminator. Now it's time for the fun part, if you want to call it that. This is honestly the hardest part. There are very specific measurements for where each one of these pieces goes. As you can see, I went ahead and wrote them down. However, depending on the resources that you are using and the size of your ornament, you may have to move these adjustments around a little bit. I definitely had to steer away from the exact measurements a little bit because I am using a plastic ball and my sheets are just laminated. They're not on any type of heavy poster board or anything like that. So it was a lot of trial and error. I want to say it took me about an hour to get this right. As you can see, it takes a lot of adjusting back and forth. You can see I'm just moving this ever so slightly to try to get the Christmas ornament into the right location to allow this to balance. If you move it too far one direction, it becomes too heavy on one side. And if you move it too far on the other direction, it becomes too heavy on the other side. And you just have to keep tweaking it ever so slightly until the entire thing is balanced. Now that I have my mobile balanced, I am going to hang it from a hook on the ceiling. It should be about 12 inches above where your baby is laying down. I am using a hook in my ceiling and the little rings that you saw me show earlier. This allows me to adjust it for each mobile that I'll be making in this series. And that is it. You've completed your mobile. I know it wasn't the easiest thing on the planet, but it looks beautiful and it is super educational for your newborn. Please let me know what you think about this mobile and if you'll be trying to make one or if you already have one and what your experience is with the Munari mobile. Please give this video a big thumbs up. 
and hit the subscribe button. This is one of the many videos that I will be doing in a Montessori series, an at-home education series on my channel, and I would love to have you follow along to explore more educational options that you can do from your home. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!